Okay, it's April 16th. This is the meeting of the Reuse Committee of the Public Works Commission. And uh, we have a quorum so we can get started. Uh, first is uh, to approve the minutes. Did everyone have a chance to look at the minutes that Susan sent around? Very yes. late last <laughs> night. Yes. So chances yes. are you did? Yes. You guys rock. I did. Oh my 24/7. <laughs> You're amazing. Well, if you have children, that's the only time to be productive. <laughs> you should know all about that. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so people productive. ask why I send emails at midnight. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, while people go over that, um, maybe we should go on to the plastic bag update, ban mm -hmm. update. Who's a uh, well, I don't know as much that. as I would like to know. It is an item on the agenda tonight at tonight's council meeting. I'm not sure if they're actually going to vote or not. Does anyone have uh, the latest and greatest on that? I know that they are. They have amended the the proposed ban to increase the thickness of the bags that will be banned. Evidently, and this is something that Jessica pointed out in a very lovely way um, at the public hearing um, a week or so ago. She said that in a lot of communities that have bag bans, that the plastic industry has responded by creating bags that meet the or just barely exceed the minimum thickness of the the band uh, of the ban. So. You really have to make it pretty thick in order to circumvent that. So I know that that has been amended, and I believe this is the is this going to be the second time that they've discussed it. You have to forgive me. I uh, come from the world of town meeting, and well, I the, they had been talking about launching this idea on Earth Day, so I assume this is going to be the first time they're going to be talking about it. Well, they had public hearing though, so. Oh, so the com the council has to talk about it twice. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they have to vote on it twice. I don't know what they're talking about. The plastic bag thing. Oh, they have to vote on it twice. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Well, so there, it, it it seemed by the public from the public hearing that I went to that there's overwhelming support in Northampton for this. There were two business owners who who expressed concern. One of them said, "It doesn't even affect me, but I'm worried about uh, other people." The other person, I think, it, it did affect, but um, they're they're concerned about the cost. And one of them even claimed, uh, one of them even felt that people might shop elsewhere. The, the cost of heavier duty uh, plastic bags, or the cost of paper, or the cost of no bags at all, to their either to their pockets or their customer satisfaction. Uh -huh. So you know, it's something to, it's something to think about. I mean, if this community <laughs> wants to have it happen. We need to be sure to support and love our our vendors. I mean, our, our mm -hmm. uh, retail people, whether they provide plastic bags or not. <coughs> and of course, the people who are grumpy are often the loudest. So it, they they're going to handle potentially some flack from people. Cereals is going bag free on mm -hmm. uh, Earth Day. So. Uh, bag, uh, that's great. bag free or styrofoam free? No, or bag, both. bag free. Because they're also going styrofoam oh, free. That's or, they, or they have already, I think, mm -hmm. actually. That is they went there. They, they have um, compostable containers now. Excellent. Wow. And they've been getting their chicken in like shrink, shrink wrap plastic uh -huh. instead of uh, oh, vacuum packed it's plastic it's instead yeah. of uh, plastic uh, styrofoam trays, yeah. which makes a big difference to me. Wow, wow. that's great. Yeah. Very great. Maybe at some point there's some way the recenter can um, support merchants who yes. want to transition to reusable bags, you know, in terms yeah. of collecting well, and distributing. <coughs> or we are collecting <coughs> yeah. for the Bagshire project, we're going to be collecting bags and large pieces of paper. Well, how do they, do we know how they distribute them to the businesses? The Bagshire, probably? Yeah. I know they Did give them know? to Cereos. The Cereos just has a big pile of yeah, them. Yeah, I there, think they, they, they were at the public hearing also uh -huh. and they I think they said that they distribute to other you know the Portable other businesses beer. it's not just yeah. it's whoever wants them uh -huh. the way whoever wants to be part of the program uh -huh. and they were going they wanted to go totally bag free for the is it Tuesday market the street market yes. yeah. that we had mm -hmm. um, and that was last fall or so uh -huh. so I, you know they were going towards a thousand bags they're going towards a thousand bags right now and they have something like 500 and you know they have these sewing meets 
over right. at East Forks. And they're having them a couple of times a week now, where people just go and sew bags, whether or not they know how to sew. Yeah. <laughs> they learn. I wonder if any, any, anybody has spoken to the, to the two business owners that expressed opposition, which one of them oh, was yeah. Acme Surplus, and the other was Webbs. Huh. Um, uh, so, okay. I'll maybe you know, oh, Webster's concern. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's my landlord. Mm -hmm. I know. I thought about <laughs> that when I saw that. He was the one that said that it didn't really affect him directly. Uh -huh. Yeah, but, well, but that he was concerned about plastic bags there. Well, he said lamps. that he'd already made some changes and. Uh huh. I haven't. So if you will take a. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. We can certainly save a spot. At so the that's center. that's all. I just wanted to oh, let people know that mm -hmm. it's moving forward. They have got some good press from yeah. the plastic bag ball that that was <laughs> that was unearthed in somebody's <laughs> garage, and I hooked a, hooked Paul and Jesse up with it, and it was uh, it, it made a nice splash. Even especially when the when the police had to investigate it as an act of <laughs> potential terrorism. It's <laughs> terrorism on the Vandal earth. <laughs> it's Vandalism. earth terrorism. <laughs> Vandalism, that's what it was, vandalism. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, okay, uh, has everyone had a chance to look at the minutes now? Uh -huh. uh, any amendments, changes? Do I have a motion to approve minutes as written? So moved. Sure. All right, Dave, any second? Second. All right, thank you, Debbie. You're welcome. I think we, uh, we can approve the minutes then. So, um, Recenter planning and prep. Should we move on to that, Susan? Sure. <coughs> All right. Alan is not here to uh, talk about it, but Diana and Mac can yeah, probably thanks chime to in. Alan for really spearheading lately. Yeah. He really yeah. stepped up and taken the lead. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we're moving along. I, I, do you have anything? <coughs> as as well, we're, we're sort of in the midst of a PR blitz this week. Right, but um, as far as the physical site is concerned, are there any um, things that mm -hmm. need to happen? Do you know what's going to be the key thing on Saturday for uh, as far as the structure of the building is concerned? Not the volunteer project. training, but just... Not yet. No, yeah, just, no, I, just doing I'm a site. little bit, a teeny little bit out of the loop on okay. But I think we're <laughs> sort of, we're, we're yeah. kind of on the little details now, like having intake procedures and proper signage and and mm -hmm. we sort of have to kind of do like a walkthrough like pretend that it's mm -hmm. open and then mm -hmm. pretend we're bringing stuff and anticipate any kind of problems and mm -hmm. and that kind of thing but really the the infrastructure itself is in great shape I think um, we're, we're putting up um, shelving units um, David was working on one we've got a lot of them up Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That um, guy offered to bring another one, and, and Alan thought we had enough. Mm -hmm. so. Another Leo, one of uh, the oh. really wide kind? That kind? Another no, one no. of what? No. A shelf. shelf. Just a regular shelf. Yeah. Yeah. Jack yeah. Finn from A to Z Learning oh, Story. So Le Learning Store came in last Saturday. It's such a great story, and the gatekeepers waved him over to us. He had mm -hmm. some display units, and... Uh, he said he has other stuff as well, and he actually brought them, and did we want them? Some of them we asked him to pay the disposal fee on because if we don't use it, we'll have to throw it away. But some of them were metal, and uh, they, they just are really great. So he, he was, and you know what he said? He said, I feel so much better now. Uh -huh. He felt really bad throwing them away. Oh, yeah, he's... Great. So uh, I gave him, uh, I invited him to come on Saturday, and he probably has some more stuff for us. It's kind of exciting. Well, they're, they're, the plastic ones are pretty much filling up at least half the storage needs in the art in the uh -huh. art section. I didn't see anything besides the plastic ones, so I don't know, but they're terrific. Great. Yeah. Now we can recycle the lemonade containers. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. So, um, and then uh, other physical stuff, so signage is going to be a big thing, um, sweeping and washing windows and stuff like that will be right. another thing on Saturday. Other than that, I think besides signs and, and cleaning and stocking the shelves, stocking the shelves right. with stuff from the shed. Is there, is there any way you can stay open later if needed? On Saturday? Yeah. Possibly. We, we have a little challenge in that I, I was telling Mac and... David, this coming week is vacation week for mm -hmm. the schools, and what do you do when you have a junior mm -hmm. uh, in high school 
over your spring vacation week, you go on college mm -hmm. tours. And my husband's right. not able to because he's going to be at a conference. So I'm, I'm going to be there Saturday, but we're going to take off for a couple days and um, hit some schools. So I'm based on where we're going, I might be able to hang out and we can be open longer on Saturday. If I can't, then I think the Friday, the 24th, um, I, I will arrange <coughs> to be out there oh, and uh, possibly <coughs> on the 23rd as well, if need great. be. So we, you know, we'll have we'll so we'll have some time out there. I just you, can't guarantee that. It's gonna I'll happen. tell you one funny, very quick story about taking your kids to colleges. Mm -hmm. You know, when my daughter was of, of the appropriate age, we took her here, we took her there, we took her here, we did all these trips, and then she took one trip with a friend's and a friend's parents. And we never saw the college, and she, that's the one she wanted to go to, and that's the one that gave her the best financial aid. And wow. So, talk to your friends, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, where was that? Oi. It was faster. Wow. Yeah. Oh, really? They give her good money? Yeah. That's one of the ones we're going to go look at, maybe. Not that she long. She had a great experience. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. Hmm. We digress. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. So, that's the situation with the actual site. All right. Uh, so there's nothing going on on Wednesday, on Earth Day, in terms of working on the site. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We're, oh, we're going to be there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll Absolutely. Be. We're going to be there. Right. I have a question. Um, Alan had suggested that I could, or we could, rather, think about decor or doing something to decorate the doors of the art closet, uh -huh. the art room. And I'd like to, um, well, I'd like to see what people think. I mean, I can see, I can wrestle around with the artists and see if someone wants to take it on as an art project, but that wouldn't be between now and the 25th. So, uh, maybe It'll we should talk about evolve, it. It'll naturally evolve, probably, don't you think? Uh, is, are they metal inside? Are they, is it a metal? No, there are wooden metal doors with metal panels on them. But uh, yeah. the metal panels are inside or outside? Both. So, the, so you could do magnet stuff, too, Good. right? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not sure. I think, I think it's is. aluminum, maybe. Oh, is yeah. it? It may not be a magnet. Well, maybe that's for talking about at the mm -hmm. Monday meeting mm -hmm. instead of this meeting. Which I won't be at because I'm going to be on the college tour, but we can talk about that later. Okay. okay. Um, okay. Publicity Hi. status. Publicity, uh, several things have happened in the last few days. Uh, I went on Sunday to the Unitarian Society and there was a gathering there to talk about sustainability, and there were Jessica was there, and this woman Tricia was there to talk about other things. And um, they gave me ten minutes uh, to speak, and I distributed brochures, and then I took questions. And I'd say basically people were excited about it. Um, they expressed some concerns, like the it being out of town and mm -hmm. are we going to be all digital and you know online and all that and I basically said you know I said that we tried for many years to have it closer and uh, we're certainly open to that in the future also that we're going to be doing the referral service so that people can have other options if they can't get out there and that kind of thing but basically it went very well um, Susan had, had advised me ahead of time to really have about three points three takeaway points. And <clears throat> what I focused on was, um, first of all, that it's it's about sharing and cooperation and community building and so forth, all that kind of stuff. And then the zero waste piece, that it's it, we're not taking everything because we're zero waste, zero cost. Um, and then the third one was, um, mm -hmm. I'll think of it in a second. And I also put in a pitch for volunteers. Um, so basically, uh, I thought it went really well. Then I, I went ahead and... Um, oh, uh, patience. Be patient. Patience, right. Patience, because we're on a learning curve. We're uh -huh. still not sure. We're a startup. We're, we're a startup. We don't know what's going to go and what's not going to go. So it's going to And the, the, the list of what we take will, will change over time. So please bear with us. Um, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, and then the, the please volunteer if you can. And I talked about the volunteers being sort of a basic two categories, one being helping to, to do the daily running of the center, and then the other being people with some skills, you know, who can help us with repair and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So then the Ward 3 committee invited me to do just a kind of a quick announcement thing at their Tuesday meeting. 
and I spoke to them for probably five minutes. And but I, I got those points in, and uh, and they were, you know, they they're going to put our our information on their list serv too for Ward Three. And then um, yesterday, Susan and I were on the Bill Newman and Monty show. I heard it this morning at eight o'clock. Oh. I mean, I heard a little segment. Yeah. On oh, okay. They, they, yeah. Remember, I told you they quoted you. Yeah. Mac did a wonderful job. Well, they, you know, when we've been on there before, they often give us like five minutes, and they gave us a full twenty plus wow. minutes. Um, Was that twenty minutes? Yeah, I timed it, and so we were really able to say a lot, which okay. you know. Uh -huh. And they and they put it on a podcast that I haven't looked, but it, it should be on their website if we want to use that. Yeah. Um, so that was that good. Um, and then tomorrow, uh, tonight's the council, and Ro and I are having a dress rehearsal after mm -hmm. this meeting. And for any of you are recommended to stay and give us feedback. We I gave this you a few photos this morning. Email. Sorry to interrupt. Sir. But that's, I emailed a few more photos in case you. Okay. Can do I haven't looked at. The, there is a meeting directly after this meeting at 10 o'clock. In here? In here. Okay. No, so so you know, might okay. have to go right. someplace else. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so we, in, in so today's, this morning's paper, did you all yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. I sent you the link uh, yep. last night. Nice this article. This morning's paper, oh, it, a front page photo and on the, Section B. Yeah. Great. So yeah. And, and, a, and a long article. Really great. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. a, it's a pretty long article, yeah. 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 So that's good, so and um, a lot and of then good stuff happening. Saturday afternoon um, is the Ward Four Sustainability Fair at the, oh, right. the Nonatuck School um, down on Riverside Drive, and that's mm -hmm. I committed to doing that. Um, it's apparently an outdoor event, and there's a possibility of rain, so there is going to be some chance that they uh, postpone it until Sunday. Um, and what I thought I would do is, after the working at the center in the morning, was go over there and bring the trifold and the brochures. And, and it mm -hmm. sounds like it's mostly like answering questions, but there's some possibility they may want um, a short presentation about it. And I could do that Saturday afternoon, but if they rain date it on Sunday, I can't do it. So if anyone else is interested in, in doing that on Sunday, it would be Sunday afternoon. Um, so three, three to six or something? I think it's one to four, but um, I, I'm okay. 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 Um, so that's 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 the mm -hmm. main. Am I leaving anything out publicity-wise? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, um, we finished the. I have a copy <coughs> of it. We we have the final copy of the advertisement that's going to go on the back of the Earth Day insert. Um, and uh, what else, uh, Diana? I posted yesterday. I post oh, uh, the last couple days. I posted some stuff on Facebook. I created an event for our grand opening, and I posted a picture of the invi invitation um, that would go up today. Uh, the event went up yes last night. A, a picture of the invitation is going up today, and. I think I also posted the information from the news, I mean from the newspaper. So I uh, did a link to the newspaper article. I will also post the, the <coughs> what is it, the podcast um, mm -hmm. URL. So, so Facebook has been getting a lot of, and we've gotten a lot of likes, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and what else, Diana, for anything else for, oh, signs. We're going to be creating a couple signs that will go out here, telling people okay. the Re Center right. is going to be opening, and then the sign for the front door, uh, front gate at, uh -huh. the, at the at Glendale Road. And we're working on a poster to put up, oh, I'm sorry, That's okay. we're posters to put up around, this is not the final version, but it's uh -huh. something like this. Um, and we have the schedule of re-events in this format to hand out if anybody wants those. This, that's, the, that's the reading This is the final cyclist. newspaper uh -huh. um, piece here. Mm -hmm. If you can, you, you can look at the pass it around uh, again. Roger, go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, so as, if I read correctly, you, you don't have to need a sticker to get in on the, tw on the Not opening. Not on the 25th, no. What we'll, we'll would be selling uh, stickers at the event? Mm -hmm. Yes. And they're already selling stickers. They're already no, selling stickers. The yeah. yep. They're in. The stickers are in. Yeah. Yes. 
That was that was a touch and go thing. That reminds <laughs> me, I need to thank the guy because he put you at the front of the line. Um, <laughs> well, sometimes they can take a long time. The pro part of the problem is it's not just the stickers, but they they're numbered, and they actually have oh, to yeah. send them to another place to have them numbered in sequence order, and then they send them back, and then they have to print the back of the. St I mean, it's it's. It's much more complicated than you'd think. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't there also something in Mass Live? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that, yeah, that's just, uh, that's an old, those are old versions. It's only uh. the top one that's the. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Oh. I took the. I'm sorry. Mass Live? Yes, Mass Live, uh, Frank Contreras did something right away. Fred Contrada. Fred Contrada. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, Frank. It's okay. Fred, um, Fred. And you made a little mistake. Fred, did Fred you see Contrada. that? You said that this stuff has to be new. Mm. But then someone immediately wrote in, if you look down at the comments, ah. someone immediately wrote in and said, that doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. right. And then he wrote again, that's okay. right. I think you're right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, no, I didn't catch that. Yeah. Uh, there was a mistake in the article today, in today's paper, a minor one, only that the the paint was not, was not reclaimed oh, nice. paint from buildings in town. The paint right. was uh -huh. from even better than that. The paint mm -hmm. was reclaimed from from a bunch of stuff poured together and mixed right. <laughs> and uh, from Holyoke. Right. Uh, anything else on publicity? Uh, I, this is no. maybe not publicity, but it's a, well, actually, I think it is. It. It's, a, <laughs> it's a little tag that will make a little uh, booklet of these that you can tear off sheets mm -hmm. and post on the bulletin board. This is okay. just a draft that I did this morning. But I think if somebody comes to the recenter or somebody has something at home that we don't want them necessarily to bring to the recenter, we give them one of these, they fill it out, mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. give it back to us, we put it on our board. We can eventually we'll have a digital mm -hmm. way to do this also, but this is sort of well, like hands on mm -hmm. ambassador. Right, so like furniture, big furniture, furniture, furniture stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, between don't be the <laughs> between the situation with Jack Finn and a call I got yesterday from Hampshire Regional Y MCA. There's so much stuff out there that people are really interested in, in trying to get a good home for. The, if I got a call from somebody who said, I have 25 paper towel dispensers huh. that are in really good condition. They're right. only a couple Most years old. Yeah. And, and no. some soap dispensers. Hmm. Do, you know, what do you think I can do with them? And so I posted it. I did post it on Facebook, and I told them about Free Cycle. I told them about another materials exchange, and I said, if you still have them, when we open on the 25th, mm -hmm. you can post something on our at the mm -hmm. Free Center. Mm -hmm. Do we have any connection with Free Cycle? Free Cycle? Yeah. No. No. That would be but Eagle Building <laughs> Bargains is, is going to be there on Saturday. I had a really nice talk with their publicity um, marketing guy, and um, they had not liked our Facebook page yet, but now they have. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're going to be, I invited them to make a 14 by 11. Or is that the right size? 17 by 11 um, poster about the types of things that they're looking for mm -hmm. that they can post on the bulletin board. Mm -hmm. so. Hey, Donna and Matt, do you have email addresses for the people that you spoke to at recenters when we were doing our best practices research? Because we should really send them the yes. article about the opening of yes. the recenter. So I'll, right. I'll take care of doing that. I have okay. the guys in, in Cape Cod. Yeah. We um, have, we have a, you have compiled a list of all the places that we interviewed, right? Uh, there were a number yeah, of us somewhere that were I have to dig that. for it. I did send. I get there was a David Quinn. I think is his name. Yeah. Yeah. I gave you him. A, I actually gave him one of these oh, um, great. at the conference that I was at. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, down. I have to leave. Yeah. Bro, can you one pick up more. minutes? Yep. Thank you. <coughs> okay. So. Um, <clears throat> City Council meeting tonight. Uh, operational status. Do we well, the there? grand opening. Do we need to talk anything about grand opening publicity? Publicity? Oh, yeah. Publicity. I don't think so. I think we're good. Um, what about grand opening planning? <coughs> Let's talk about grand opening planning for a moment. Um, we. How many people here are planning on being there on Saturday? This coming Saturday? This, no, no, on the opening day Saturday. 25th? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay, and I believe other people are too. So um, we, uh, Ro and Mac and I talked about what kind of bodies that we need, and we will need, we will 
want of at least nine bodies that are going to be there on, on the 25th in various roles. Deb has volunteered to help with with um, parking and, and, and uh, that issue. Oh, we, you know, we need some people um, over by the gatekeepers mm -hmm. to either help sell tickets or to help direct traffic because it could get pretty crazy there, especially at like 8.45. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, we're going to have two or three people doing intake in case we get a flood of stuff. We're going to need some floaters. Um, we will have vests for everybody and, and possibly name tags. I don't know about the name tags, but we're all going to be wearing fun safety vests. Or um, And our t-shirts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did everyone get a t-shirt? Take one if you want. There's yeah. more, and, and if you don't see one you like, there's a box over there. With yeah. <laughs> They're all basically the same colors, yeah. but so same size. Uh, I think there's different sizes. I all think actually. Sizes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to request small. that people, um, if you can't, you know, if at all possible, please arrive <coughs> at uh, right at eight when they open. Or do they open at seven thirty? Even if you can get there, they open at seven thirty on Saturday. Yeah. 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 If at all possible. Mm -hmm. Seven thirty. Yeah. Seven thirty. Uh, those of us on the committee wearing vests are going to be asked a million questions. Uh, Is there yes. a final version of the uh, training manual? Well, that's that's where we get to the operational status, and um, there will be a final version of the training manual. Okay, I would like to have yes. taken the quiz at the end of uh, it. Yes. <laughs> Me too. Yes, and um, our, can we move into operational status? Yeah. So um, I have to apologize. There are a couple things that I have. If not dropped the ball on, I have um, You're still not on. achieved, so people are waiting on me. This it was one of them. This is our intake, uh, wor I called it worksheet for want of a better explanation, description. So this take is, one and pass it around. Take one and pass it. This is the, this is the, the it's a working list. This is going to change over time. This is the list of stuff that we have vetted. There are still a couple questions wow. on it what types of things we are and are not going to take. I, I'm sorry it's so small, I was trying to save mm -hmm. paper mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I was able to fit it onto two pieces instead of three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, if you look down at it, this is alphabetical, there are, you can see, uh, is the item recyclable? BB is for bulletin board. So some things are only bulletin board. If there's a can we take it, if there's an N in the can we take it field and it says BB next to it, that means that it's something will encourage people to put on the bulletin board. So the need or lead. Um, yep. And actually mm -hmm. I just see, see one. Um, so and then if it's if there's uh, there's some things that we're gonna that we can encourage people to put on the bulletin board even if we do take it. So if they don't if they don't have it, if it's heavy, you know, um, they can put pretty much anything on the bulletin board except for guns and chemicals and stuff like that. Um, in the outlet category, this was the part, one of the things that took the longest. Um, we are wanting to know what's going to happen to it if it doesn't, if it doesn't move, and that's what the outlet is. And then the comment section has additional information. I did put with reservations on some of them, and that does not mean dinner <laughs> reservations. It means that we need to be very careful right. because there are some things that we're going to get a lot of that are not recyclable and we don't have really an outlet for, or the outlet people are, are not interested in them. The two biggest things that I can think of right now are dishes, glassware, and tchotchkes. Um, right. like knickknacks. Like knickknacks. Knick knick yeah. So, um, dinner, the glassware and dishes, there's a lot of outdated, not outdated, there's a lot of glassware and dishes that are not in style right now that people are casting off. And unless, you know, some of it can be used for crafts, but some of it can't. So, mm -hmm. it's one of the things that. Goodwill and Salvation Army throws away a lot of and so we need to be real careful about that so mm -hmm. we are going to be accepting stuff but but we need to keep an eye out to see what what we're getting rid of it is also unfortunately fairly heavy stuff mm -hmm. so uh, we might have to you know we're, we're just gonna play by ear we're learning 
right. have to play it by ear. So we're going to go over this on Saturday? On Saturday, well, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to go through this bit by bit on Saturday. Okay. Um, uh, what I'm planning on doing with people on Saturday is taking a walk around this. I have, I have a box of stuff that is Twilight Zone <laughs> or no stuff, and then we're going to walk around and talk about stuff and why, why it is or isn't um, going to be good to take. Um, and the reason oh. I ask that is because mm -hmm. I, my eye went to VHS and cassette tapes, mm -hmm. and it says green disc or gold circuit, but that doesn't tell me anything. It, but it like, says no. It says no. We're not taking them. Right. But wh this where is, is that? And then right, the next VHS? column says green di disc and gold circuit under VHS and cassette tapes. Right. So people are going to say, so who is that, and how can mm -hmm. we get Well, this is them? this is for us. This is not going to be a public document. We can share it perhaps with city council, but. So when it says green disc, that means that there is a potential outlet for it. Okay. But we would have oh. to. It would mean that. But we're not going to collect for we it. We weren't going to collect for know. it. But yeah. someday, maybe we have a volunteer who says, "I really want to collect this stuff." Uh -huh. um, I'm also checking with the Murph uh, uh, plant manager later this morning to see if that's something that can go in bulky or not, bulky rigid plastic. I, I don't know if that's something that, that they're accepting in that mix. VHS cassette tapes? A VHS, yeah, it's, pl it's bulky well, plastic. the cassettes are, the tape isn't. I'm sorry? The tape isn't. The tape isn't, but, yeah. but, you know, we can ask. Sure. So, right. there are the, so greendisc.com has a program, it's a mail-in program, where you can get boxes, collect the media and crystal cases, et cetera, from CDs, and then ship them back to them. That's not something that we're prepared to do at the outset. Mm -hmm. There are places, I believe, that do that. It's possible that Whole Foods collects them. I think they did at one time. I don't know if they still do. Um, I think Lowe's I saw something at. So there, we need to do a little investigation. But, but uh, on that, you'll see on that particular entry, it says, no, we are not taking the mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. set tapes. But so I listed an outlet because it's something that you know, well, we no, want to we refer want people to you. You have the information. If we need to do more information, I think right. that's great, Susan. Right. I, yeah. I wonder, two things. I wonder which outlets have been contacted about stuff. Or so, for instance, shall I keep asking around to see if there's someone who wants dishes, glasses, you know? The, the things Absolutely. Like, but do we have a list of, I don't have an idea we of have, who's been contacted. Oh, no, we have, we have not contacted. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we are waiting for this. End users, okay. cause in okay. part because we are waiting for this. Okay. Um, but now we have we have said we can go forward with oh, okay. doing that. Okay. So, um, you know, I had prepared, before I left, I prepared a letter that we could send to end oh, right. users. Oh, yes, yes. And yes, uh, yes. so that's pretty much ready to go. Right. And now this okay. is pretty much ready to go. Um, uh, there are a couple questions here um, that I would like to talk with people about. Um, and I don't know if now is the right time to do it. Um, how, much, how are we doing on time, David? Okay. No, okay. You're doing fine. Um, baby items. So one of the things that we've talked about is that we're not going to take things that have uh, 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 recall issues and that um, frequently recalled items. So car seats, um, lots of baby type stuff, ca carriers, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, tends to be recalled. A lot of it also tends to be bulky, rigid plastic. Mm -hmm. So, are we are we going to? What What do you guys think? Should we try taking it? If you look at the first at the top of the list, we have baby play yards, baby strollers, baby swings, and jumpers. Do you want to accept that kind of material as long as it is recyclable? Well, one question is: is there is there someone we could? ask someone who's an expert in baby equipment uh, uh, about what idea. is likely to be a, a dangerous thing to take or you know a hazardous thing and what is not who would, be, who would be the good person to ask um, some kind of product consumer, oh, consumer or is there something on, or is there something right. online about you know maybe about this kind of thing? maybe a pediatrician's office this, um, well if somebody can do research and that's the kind of thing that potentially when if we get an intern yeah. yeah. Intern could help out with something. I mean, that's we know, right. I think that's a great idea for intern. We uh -huh. we really can't do car seats unless it's but right. unless it's an absolutely new yeah. new right. new model. Yeah. Um, 
because it changes. I don't. You know what? I don't have baby car seats on here. Do, is it do in we not car? still have a dumpster for bulky rigid plastics? Yeah, the, we. Uh, yeah, there's one out there. Yeah. So I mean, for car seats. We could take them and just put them in the bulky rigid plastic. Yeah, you have to so. cut but, out the straps but that's a, anything, but. but we can, but th that's that's something that's going to take our time. I mean, if it's not something right. we take, mm -hmm. then the person themselves should bring it to our bulky rigid plastic. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to get in the business of collecting stuff so that it can get recycled. That's right. not yeah. what we're so doing. So we would say to them, yeah. you take it over there, but you got to cut the straps out first. If, yeah. Yeah. If they technically... Uh, is there a, is there a charge for bulky rigid plastic? No. no. Okay. Yeah. Well, not now. Maybe How about be. this is too early? Too much research needs to be done on this. Mm -hmm. We do not take baby stuff. So this may change later. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's the okay. safest okay. way to go okay. with the week out. Okay. TBA. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meantime, people can you know okay. put up a referral. Next sure. item. That's right. Um, yeah. yeah. Boogie boards. Is that something, as long as it's in good condition, are people, should we take a boogie board? Sure. It's not recyclable. What are they? They're made out of... Um, some of them are poly... Some of them are... Rigid are, plastic. Some, some of them are styrofoam are, covered I think plastic. Yeah, some, some of them, them are, are foam. Some of them yeah. are yeah. Or foam yeah. covered, yeah. like foam sandwiches, yeah. basically. Yeah. And skimmer boards, too. Um, but that's a sports a piece of sports equipment, as long as it's not really chipped and wrecked. Uh, so in excellent, pre excellent condition? We would take it? Very good. Yeah, I think very so. Good. Yeah. You're going to get scratched up, so. I mean, okay, can I say one thing? Mm -hmm. a, meta, a meta thing about this? Mm -hmm. This is one of our great biggest challenges is, you know, um, what are people going to take? Now, the thing is, um, if we're overly restrictive, mm -hmm. we're not going to find out really the full breadth of what people yes, will that's take. that's right. Mm -hmm. If we're too loose, we end up with a lot of junk. But I'm proposing at some point that we have like sort of like a slush fund, you know, for the first few months that we're operating where we will pay tipping fees if we go out a little bit on the on the side of accepting uh -huh. too much. Mm -hmm. Because I, I'll tell you, and maybe you guys have had this experience too, I've had stuff, um, I've had stuff that I've tried to sell at a tag sale. Uh -huh and nobody would buy it and then I put it out for free and it's gone it's yeah. just gone I mean when you when you make it for free mm -hmm. just like with the toy our yeah. toy exchange yeah. there's a lot of stuff that came in there that I thought nobody would take and it was gone it was just gone so mm -hmm. I feel like we need to err if we're gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna err right we're gonna err so we yep. need to err on the side of being a little bit too well, and if, if we decide yeah absolutely uh -huh. I think that that's normal that's gonna yeah. be totally normal if we decide that that it's worth taking more stuff, then we just and there's an and there's an expense for tipping fee. We just need to fundraise and pay for yeah. tipping fees. Yeah. You well, know, I mean, we, we said we, zero cost. That doesn't that means zero cost to the to the city. It it doesn't mean that we can't raise money we, to pay for. We've known from the beginning that there would be tipping fees. That every single reuse center around the Northeast told us you will underestimate mm -hmm. what your tipping fees will be. Right. That was the bit, that, if I asked them about one mistake, that was the mistake. Mm -hmm. They had to pay a couple mm -hmm. of thousand dollars in tipping fees in their first year. Mm -hmm. And then they learned. They learned yeah. how, to, how to do it better. <clears throat> and I think in our public relations, you know, we can say to people, we're going out a, a little bit, going out on a limb here. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you donate to us, we can take more risks in terms because mm -hmm. you'll be mm -hmm. helping us to get rid of that stuff that's that doesn't good, go. That's a very good So point. help us with that, mm -hmm. and then we can be broader in terms of what we. Uh, Ro, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> what about I'm I'm still concerned that that there, we may not have enough storage or places right. to put things. So on a specific date, are we going to say I'm sorry, we're not accepting any more stuff? Because we're physically we don't have yes. room. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think that's the biggest yeah, issue. Yeah, that was my question. Yeah. Well, well, we can we can put we can put something on Facebook. That's not going to mm. well, it's not going to hit everybody. We're, we're no, no, I'm talking about the the day when people are there and they're bringing stuff. I'm saying, sorry, we're not accepting anything more. You need to come back next Saturday mm. because the the issue is we will if we run out of space, right. then it's going to we're going to try to make decisions. We're going to make bad decisions. Right. Um, yeah. And if we don't have enough space for things, we can't have it so piled up that it interferes in our yeah. organizational abilities. 
I, I hear your concern, and I and it's really a it's a real um, turnoff to have mm -hmm. to bring your stuff home. And, and you know, you you, you, right. you carefully selected it, you <laughs> loaded into the car. It's a real turnoff. Judging from the people who um, had were concerned about the rain for t mm -hmm. tag sales and stuff mm -hmm. like that, it's just uh, you know they want it out of their house. They've like purged it. They mm -hmm. want it out of their house mm -hmm. to bring right. it back. Is a, is, a, is a bad PR for us. So mm -hmm. I'm, I, I personally think that we should make every accommodation we can to I, I'm talking it. about when we can't make any more accommodations, yeah. when it's all full, the shelves are full, Well, the there's room, area. there's room in, over by the Universal Waste Shed. There's a couple of things. Yeah, I mean, one is that Universal it's Waste store. Shed area, and the other one is the area that the keepers have been, the gatekeepers have been putting stuff which, which is empty. now full, which will be emptied out as we open, and that is a pretty substantial mm -hmm. space. Yeah. So we need shelving for that. Mm. Wait, yes, yeah, sh that would be nice if we can do that. But if we can't do uh, do it, we can just sort of load stuff in there. And we box. can pack it in yeah. there in boxes yeah. and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure I understand this discussion. I mean, our our capacity is our capacity. It's w and we may reach it, and we're going to have to turn people away. That's. There's no way we're going to be able to promote it in advance. It's going to happen at some point in time. 9.30 on a Saturday, we're going to have to find out, you know what, there's not another inch of space. Can't take it. And people are going to have to go home with it. I mean, that's, that's the risk. But the one thing I do want to say is, and this is to your point, Matt, you only have one opening. As a businessman, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, you only have one opportunity to make a first impression. Mm -hmm. And so if you reject too much stuff at the beginning, Number one, it's going to create a negative impression, and number two, people are going to say, oh, "Well, you know, they're not really only taking new things, or they're only mm -hmm. taking like." Mm -hmm. right. So, mm -hmm. so I, I would agree with you, Mac, that you mm -hmm. really need to err on the side of being mm -hmm. more inclusive rather than exclusive mm -hmm. at the beginning, mm -hmm. at the risk of having higher tipping fees. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the long run, for goodwill, right. it's it's the right thing to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and it would be better to actually fill up on the first day uh -huh. and yeah. say, wow, we got well, a lot of stuff we can also, down. <laughs> we can also just accept everything on the first day just because it's the first day, except for gas-powered equipment and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, um, and, and just tell people we're, you know, we're, we're, um, we're being more relaxed about right. our, our intake today because of the, the right. event. Mm -hmm. and, and it'll be a good a good opportunity to to find more things that can be used for training purposes you know right. um, you know I think the um, the, the uh, toy swap is good training for the gatekeepers mm -hmm. of this mm -hmm. I, I, I feel better equipped to mm -hmm. turn things away pieces missing you know right. there's a bag of stuff I know you know what that doesn't work right right, right. Yeah. okay is um, there, oh, go ahead Roger is there uh, at some point, maybe we get a nice big used canopy or a big tent or something. Mm. That would give us a lot more storage on so, the side as well. Yeah. So, so do we have somewhere where we have a, um, a list of things that we're looking for for the yeah, for the reuse center? Yeah. For, the for, the re mm. for the eco building bargains? You mean for? No, for, for us. For, for us. For our equipment. Like, yeah. like Roger says, yeah. Yeah. it would be uh, great if we had a tent. A tent. Yeah. But outside, in case yeah. we have an overflow. Yeah. Right. right. And we right. said we really were full, but we really these people really want this, so uh -huh. we'll put it in overflow. Um, what you mean, like a permanent tent or? A because There's some we really have we have things on wheels that can yeah. pull out. And, you know, big basket like that basket you brought is wonderful, right. and the Alan nylon. had got some nylon rope and and you know prepared right. it. It's it's really going to be great. I think I looked on the on the website for the Newton Wellesley one, and they had they basically had. A very sturdy metal frame with a blue tarp over it. Mm -hmm. You know, it mm -hmm. was kind of sort of semicircular, and it, and it, you know, that's what they use, and they had tables under it. Mm -hmm. And if somebody wanted to donate something like that, we might be able to put it on in the side seasonally. I mean, if we had to get it out of there at the end of the season, something sturdy. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Really so on extend. our bulletin board, we could say yeah. things that we're looking for. Right. Mm -hmm. Facebook um, page. Uh, yeah, that's right. The recenter want recenter wish list, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so just to quickly go through this, um, anything with freon dehumidifiers um, is something that that we might want to take if if they work. But but the, anything with freon 
is going to have to be uh, prepaid only. Hey, so Susan, are we going to go through all of this on no, Saturday? No, I just have a couple. No, uh, uh, no. Uh, oh, we're not? No, we're not. No. I wanted to get, but I wanted to get group opinion on a couple okay. things. Um, I, I have something to add that I just found out yesterday, which mm -hmm. is that, and maybe everybody knows this already, but um, Dell and the Goodwill have teamed up and they'll take all computer equipment. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the Goodwill over here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. For free? Dell? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, right? And I double checked it with them. Yeah. Working thought, computer wow, equipment? Wow, no, anything. Wow. To recycle. Nice. That's excellent. So, right so anyway, there. I'll yeah. get the specifics from them. I'll okay. get yeah. how they you. describe that. But I was yeah. just like, okay. Um, another similar yeah. to the boogie boards, mm -hmm. pool toys and rafts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, not recyclable. A lot of it is um, poly uh, PVC. Uh, the ex the blow up things. They can have holes in them. Holes in them. They, they get mold pretty easily. Um, uh, what yeah. about a raft? What if somebody brought in uh, you mean noodles, a blow pool raft? noodles, pool oh. noodles that are in good condition? Those really get moldy. Mm. Do they? Yeah. Um, uh, what about like a foam raft? I would say Only no to pool noodles, condition? by the way. It's those, those things get ratty really quickly. Mm. And they're pretty big. Yeah, Space. unless somebody has a use for them. No you pool noodles. A whole, whole um, what about like a what about a a, a squishy um, plastic covered uh, pool raft? You know, like the a blow up. The no, uh, not the, the blow up oh. ones. The the dense <coughs> one ones. Uh, they're pretty expensive. But if somebody's getting rid of one, it's probably cracked and in bad shape. In which case, it's not really going to go. Mm -hmm. So do we say no on the pool toys? Well, I mean, if it's in really good yeah, shape, good why shape. not try yeah. one and see? Uh -huh. Okay, so very good condition. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, almost done. Projection TV, what is that? Uh, what is a projection that's, TV? That's a box that it literally, it's yeah. like a slide projector, but it yeah. projects out an image onto whatever. It could okay. project it onto okay. the screen. They um, have to pay a fee for that. Right. Um, well, except that's something that Goodwill would take. Mm -hmm. So, so assuming it's well, it, and oh, it's I also it. electronic scrap. If you um, can hook it up to a computer, a yeah, that's amazing. People will snap those. Yeah, up no, I, I'm in a, I'm in the market for one of those actually. Water bottles, steel ones are fine. What about plastic ones? We have um, there's there's an older it. generation of plastic ones that people are, don't want anymore. Yeah, the BPV. So we should uh, not take them. I don't. I would, I would reject are they bulky rigid plastic? They are bulky rigid yeah, okay. plastic. Even the, uh, you know what, that's a good question for the guy today that I'm going to see. Um, bulky rigid plastic, plastic water bottles. And part of this too is how how it can we as inspectors know the difference? Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. For all this stuff. What was the what was the um, brand of water bottle Nalgene? Nalgene didn't Nalgene end up having BPA in it too? Yeah, I think so. They may so have a new, but they I may have a new generation. Nalgene, yeah, I don't know that Nalgene or bul I'm going to find out about that if they're bulky yeah. rigid plastic. Mm -hmm. I think the safe thing would be to reject all plastic bottles, mm -hmm. especially since we can put them in in bulky okay. rigid plastics and we have an outlet. We don't accept that you can put it in the bulky rigid plastics. Okay, you guys, are you okay with that? Well, I would say if we, if there's an easy way to identify the plastic, like if mm -hmm. it's blah blah blah, in the notebook that the person has that's the the take intake, you can say water bottles blah 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 okay blah mm -hmm. blah blah not okay right. you know right. anything else? Because um, yeah. I think people will take the ones that are the newer ones. Mm -hmm. Sure. And I think yeah. we want to encourage people so they don't go out That's and right. buy these stupid mm -hmm. Poland and Springs right. things, you know. Mm -hmm. um, windows and crazy. doors, I'm going to say, is a bulletin board item and that we're not taking. Is that safe to say at this point? And then wooden fencing, if somebody brings pieces of fences. Yeah. No. Not at this time. It's a bulletin board item, right? Yeah. Bulletin board would be fine. I okay. Mean, yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Thank you. So you're going to update this and I will have update it this and have it. Okay. For tonight, um, volunteer status. Volunteer status is a is another area where I have um, not been able to do the work that I promised to do in a timely manner. We had talked about having 
volunteers <coughs> for a training session on um, t on Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, what Ro and I had talked about was having a couple of the volunteers who are interested in helping on a long-term basis who've also helped with Toy Swap come in, and then we'll have ourselves. I, I really think that the committee plus a couple extra bodies is all we need for opening day. Mm -hmm. um, and even for the following weekend, we'll be fine with committee members. We're, we're probably all going to be, you know, a lot of people are going to be out there on, the, on May, whatever, the next, the following Saturday. So, um, so the, um, even though I wasn't able to get things to the place where they need to be in time, I feel confident that we're going to be okay. And what that does is it relieves the pressure so that we can have a full uh, recruiting, uh, not recruiting, we can have a, a, a more time to plan training for people who are coming in cold. Part of the problem is, you know, even, even an hour or two training session, they don't know, they haven't been involved in this whole process mm -hmm. with where we talked about what's important to us and, and the underlying principles and um, they haven't done it, so they're coming in cold. So right. even if we tell them what we're taking and what we're not taking, having mm -hmm. them represent the center on opening day or even the second day we're open, you know, it, it just feels like we need to we need to have them acclimate a little bit. Right. Okay. Roger. Well, I was thinking, well, I was kind of kidding before about the quiz, but that would be nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, think that's once, a great idea. Once you read the yeah. manual. Yeah. And then we could just do kind of a mentoring thing. Bring the people on one or two right. at a time and have them be there. Right. Watching, and watching the whole thing. I think it'd be nice in the intake area while people are standing in line to have a sign-up sheet on the wall, you know, that mm -hmm. for potential oh, volunteers. That's because oh, that's a great that's idea. We're going to have people show up there that say, oh my God, i got to come here and volunteer. Mm -hmm. I, that's what's right. happened at some of our other events. So, yeah. um, in, in, on a related thing, uh, I have a whole bunch of ideas of things that would be really, really good. We're gonna. Ha this is a publicity opportunity, and I think it's better to spend time creating some things that people will see and uh, and be educated by than to than to worry about uh, uh, training more volunteers. So, for example, we uh, donation box. Oh, we want to have. I'm not donating. We want to have oh. our donation um, container ready, so uh -huh. we have to fit, fit, get that set up. We have um, a suggestion box. We need to get set up. I have a list of this stuff, but um, so those are those are like little mini projects that I could use people's help with. I'm going to type up my list, um, and uh, you know, there's various signs that I'm going to be working on. Um, one of the things that I would really like to have is a big poster with a list of all the things that we repurposed during this enterprise. Mm -hmm. So uh, so a big poster nice. and post it on the wall or something. So, you know, garage door, refurbished, blah, blah, blah. Uh, paint, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, so yes, so yes, something like that great. for the general public to see as they come in. So, right. so these, you know, I have maybe four or five of these little kind of sign project type things that I could use people's help with and what? I will be in touch with you. Before and after photos? Like Before and after photos, yep. On that. Yep. Would be great. Yep. <coughs> or yep. just after no, photos. Um, oh, yeah, but before is stunning. Uh, the, the next meeting is going to be May 14th or 21st? The next meeting, I think probably we should have on May 14th uh, because we're going to have things to talk about. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody okay with May 14th? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not me, but yeah. Um, event coordinator updates, can we get to that or? Um, well, I want to do new business first if we can. Okay. Just because Ro wrote something okay. on the board, so it seems like there's something to talk about. Ro? Oh, I just want to, I sent an email out to everyone. If you can, for a project that I'm doing for the commission, it send me any and oh, all the, the the volunteer hours. I think you already did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so uh, the time that you've spent on it, and I know just estimate to the best of your ability would be great. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, Other new business, oh, Jackie. Oh, sorry. Good. Jackie Ottman, who gave that we hate to waste 
uh, presentation at Smith College a couple weeks ago is a, a marketing person from New York City. She's thinking about relocating here to this area. She's a Smith grad, and Debbie spent some time with her when she was here. She's a friend of mine. And she, um, she's written this book, The New Rules of Green Marketing, and she is a very nice, is very passionate, and um, it was exciting to know that she's thinking about moving to this area. So I just wanted to let you know about that, and if you go online, we hate to waste.com, I think, is the website. Mm -hmm. that she's right. Roger, you had something? Well, I just want to just, just keep it on the back burner or the parking lot, or as somebody once said, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, the repair cafes. Oh, yes. oh yeah. I'd like to start talking about that. Uh, <coughs> I'm very supportive of that, Roger. Mm -hmm. Let's open yeah. and then we'll have time. I understand. That's why. Um, it's in the parking well, lot. Just no. one of the things we've been talking about in our publicity is basically right. we're starting with a swap shop, but there's this whole other mm -hmm. universe of activities that can happen depending upon the community response. And mm -hmm. support. And support. And repair cafes is right up there with that. But mm -hmm. we, we're trying to say to people, you know, we need your help. Right. Sure. Mm -hmm. And that's something that the intern is interested in helping out with if, if it works out. Okay. Just so new business also, intern situation. Anna Moore, who is a Northampton High School grad, she's in college. Her college has a program where she can apply to be funded for a full-time eight-week internship. Oh, really? nice. So we, she has applied for it. Um, she, she's gonna, she's heard by now whether she's made the finalist list, and then she'll know by April 25th, I think, whether she gets funded or not. If she is not funded, we're gonna try to have her as a, as a part-time paid intern if possible. <coughs> if that doesn't work, she is willing to help out on a, on a volunteer basis. Maybe, maybe Green North Athens could fund that internship. Wow. Just got money sitting in the bank and Florence Stags like charging me to just park the money there. So it would be it would be how to handle the there's W two and all that kind of stuff. It would be a little awkward. Yeah, could you, could you pay them employee. through through Berkshire Naturals? Uh Oh, oh through Berkshire Natural? Um, have to I'll have to think about yeah, how complicated about that. that would be. But, okay. um, but no, that's possible. Maybe how Green much Northampton. In the, in the banking account? 5500 I think it is. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, that's a really nice offer. Thank you. Yeah, it's burning a hole in, in my pocket. Uh, yes, thank uh, you. UMass interns, I had forwarded the material to Susan. Is it right? The UMass. Right. Um, the, the, the problem with interns is mm -hmm. they can be uh, take a lot of time. Oh, but I that, thought that's what we were talking about. I don't have, I know Anna. I know, I yes. know she knows and us. Yes. She's volunteered at our events. Yes. yes. Um, it would be a lot easier for me to work with her than somebody coming in cold because right. there's a lot of ramp up time. Okay. That's why I have Doesn't not, have that's why I didn't pursue Okay. That. I get it. It can be a very time-consuming thing. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's a crapshoot, like any, yeah. anytime yeah. you're dealing with people. Uh, yeah. I've, I've employed <laughs> literally hundreds and hundreds of interns. Yeah. They can be amazing. Mm -hmm. Leah right. Schreiber, the actor Leah Schreiber was one of my interns oh, 25 years ago. Um, so, uh, so, event coordinator updates. The, the first event, I think, is the SOS. SOS, Which yes. John Sauce is taking care of, right? Yes, well, no, um, Roger, well, we need to We need, we need to talk. We yeah. need to talk. Yeah. Okay. We need to get. He'll be we need here, to start publicizing. Right. We need Thank to you. start publicizing that mm -hmm. pretty soon. Right. So, okay. so if you can get, get on the horn and 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 um, and um, start pushing my buttons. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can work on that. And uh, lastly. And then after that yeah, is have, have is the bulky rigid around. plastic and styrofoam collection. And that is John's. And that is John's, and I don't know, yes, I that is John's. Free. So we can talk about that at the next meeting. We were going to collect, so we were going to have the shredder there. The sh uh, unfortunately, it's the same day as the Senior Center's fundraiser for shredding, so we are not going to have the shredder. Um, update on Peter Rakelfush. Peter is doing well. He was hopeful that he was going to be able to go home today. Great. And, um, yeah. Where is it? Is he at Cooley Dick? He was at Cooley Dick. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. Anything else? Anybody? My oh, song. We're good. Oh, your song. Yes, your song. Oh, oh your yes, song. the song. Yes, yes, yes. Okay.
<laughs> Potential theme song that, that I would need. This is rolling for the end credits. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Just getting this to, so I can get this. Well, With our landfill capped, no place to throw. We hope you'll all agree. We must rethink the waste we the waste we make and let it re. Let us re. Let us re. Let us re. Oh, let us re. Remake, renew, repair, resolve when we re. <laughs> For when we have just what we need and give away the rest for free, zero waste can come to pass when we re. Let us re. And then that's the chorus. And then it goes, uh, the next part is. Now when I find myself with too much stuff, inspiration comes to me. Head on down to Glendale Road and let it read. <laughs> and then more chorus, and then the final part is, we'll slash our carbon footprints when we read. I love that we've yeah. reused the songs. Right? Oh, that's a good point. So I would, I would love it if some of us would want to sing that at the grand opening. I'd be happy to. Oh, 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 that's great. I will. I will. Great, great. Okay. One, thank you, Mac. One last thing. We do have a couple more invitations to, uh, uh, paper invitations to our grand opening. If you know somebody that would appreciate one, they were very cleverly done. I don't know if you got to see them. But they um, they say it's a reused, it's a repurposed old cardstock thing, mm -hmm. and it says reuse rocks on it. Mm -hmm. And then we glued Very in cool. our invitation in the back, and on the back it says this item has been repurposed for sweet <laughs> zero waste. How about one. inviting so. Lenny uh, at Bag Share and uh, ooh, how about inviting Sirius? How about inviting um, Jane at the art well, garden? We can, can we do and that? And anyone can invite anyone you want. Oh, sure. okay. I have, I'd like to oh, have, the people running the We have these right, you can right. give. I, I do have, I don't have millions of cards, but we do have a couple well, cards that can be given. If you I may, could have three. You may be addressing <coughs> this on Saturday, but I'm concerned about parking. Parking oh. on Saturday. Having enough room. I mean, even just if everybody here comes, which we're all planning to, that's the parking lot. Well, we can. Carpooling. Well, we, yeah, we, we can do carpooling, or we can park our cars up the hill along the side, That's and then leave the parking lot. We have yeah. permission for oh, that. Pedal. up by the landfill, yes. and then and mm -hmm. then put down. So if yeah. we can get permission to do that. I think that's what yeah. We, we already do. yeah. We okay. we definitely have can do that. We can actually <laughs> even go up as far as the the. Um, <clears throat> okay, you know, we can go way up. Right. So talk, are you going to talk about that on Saturday? Yeah. Okay. Great. So, Mac and I are going to do this. We have time to go through this. Have we adjourned? Uh, not yet. Okay. All right. Let's adjourn. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? Let's adjourn. All right. Second, yeah. adjourn. Okay. Um, and.